They said, what if we wrote a show, a reunion show for Leave it to Beaver? You know, we'll have the beaver, whatever, come back and we'll just, you know, show them as they are now. And they said, that's a pretty good idea. So they wrote uh, a movie of the week. And in um, 1982, we did a movie of the week called Still the Beaver. It was one of the uh, top movies, top 10 movies of 1982. And they said, well, if it's that popular, why don't we do an, another series, an updated series? So then we started the new Leave it to Beaver. And that pretty much went from uh, 1983 till 1989. There's like 104 episodes of that. And by that time, I was out of the real estate business and had gone back to being a uh, full-time actor. One of the things about the new Leave it to Beaver that's interesting, um, Ted Turner made the largest order in television history because when we were, um, we started off the movie of the week, we then went to cable, went to, we were one of the original cable shows, went to the Disney Channel, and then Ted Turner came along and bought 89, or 80, yeah, 89 shows in one swoop. Not Nowadays, as I said, with the original Leave to be, we used to do 39 a year. Nowadays, even if it's a really good series, sometimes you only get an order for 12 or 15. And sometimes, you know, if a series has been on three or four years and is really popular, 20 shows, but never 39 like Leave it to Beaver, Ted Turner comes in and buys 89 of the new Leave it to Beaver. And so ever since then, I have been a full-time actor. Well, we decided that Beaver was an everyman character, and there were all sorts of ideas that were kicked around, and some of them were just, you know, totally ridiculous. Um, so what we finally decided on was that the Beaver, like many people, and by that time I had been married and divorced, but I didn't have any kids. I do now. I have a son and two daughters, but at that time. And so we thought, well, maybe because divorce is so prevalent in this society, maybe Beaver should um, be married, have, of course, two sons, and be a single father. So in the movie of the week, um, Beaver is working um, at the same kind of work that Ward did, but we never said what it was. And um, he then starts to have problems with his wife, and his wife decides to leave him, and I don't know where they came up with this, but she decides to go to veterinarian school in Italy and so basically leaves him with his two sons, which just coincidentally happened to be almost the same age as Wally and the Beaver in the original show. But since he was working for his father-in-law and had a company car and all this, is that he gets fired and suddenly he has these two sons. And you get the feeling that he wasn't the, the best of parents. He was so busy trying to make it. And suddenly he has to go back and pretty much move in with mom because everything he has is taken away from him. And June says, you know, okay, you can come back because Wally's moved out and he's married and he has uh, a child and, you know, it's, it's fairly happy. He has some problems in his relationship, but he's fairly happy as Wally would be and he's very successful. And Beaver comes back and then because he's back in Mayfield and June talks to him, and actually, it was a very, very touching moment for us all, the beginning of the show. And actually, the first, in the movie of the week, the first thing we shot was that Hugh Beaumont, I, he lived up in Topanga Canyon. I lived on Topanga and up in um, Mulholland a little ways. And so I would see him. And he had had, um, in his later years, several strokes and was not in very good health. Um, he also had uh, Tourette's syndrome, which, um, made him even seem like he was worse. And he had one of his last strokes, and he had a son and grandchildren in Germany. And he, I think he knew that he was getting close, so he actually checked himself out of the hospital, and his son was either a psychiatrist or a psychologist in Germany for the Army. He flew there and actually died in Germany. So the very first episode, or the very first shot of the movie of the week, we went to a local cemetery and they fixed up all the rain machines. And we really didn't think about it, but it was going to be the, the scene that Hugh Beaumont was at the, at the grave. And so we all got there and we had never really all come to terms together with Hugh Beaumont's death. And that was really the first time. And it's the opening shot of um, the new Leave it to Beaver, of Still the Beaver, the movie. So it was an interesting, and then Beaver, 
<coughs> um, comes back and um, basically June says, you know, you're a you're a cleaver, brace up. You know, you're you're just feeling depressed. Like my dad would say, shake it off. Go back, get your kids, bring them back here. You can raise them here, and that's basically then he moves back and starts actually a business with Lumpy, and he and Lumpy as Mr. Rutherford and Ward go into the same business and um, things get a lot better for him.